For almost 25 years, I made excuses for everything. I never had many dreams, to begin with. I always had whatever I wanted on a golden platter since my parents were still there for me. And I didn't think it was wise to have a serious goal to pursue. It would take a lot of effort, discipline and experience to learn that I own my life and I alone have the responsibility to shape it. As young people, one of the most dangerous things we can do to ourselves is to think we do not have to take responsibility for ourselves. In all my years of pursuing dreams and achieving goals, this is what I have found. We humans possess a kind of superpower that is incredible. There is nothing we set our minds to do that we cannot achieve. What we have not done is what we have chosen not to do, or what we are yet to discover can be done. If you find yourself desiring to get something done, but you never do it, nothing is holding you back from doing it. Only one thing will make you remain the way you are. An author and successful speaker, Jim Rohn, puts it this way. If you really want to do something, you find a way. If you don't want to do it, you find an excuse. Excuses kill dreams. Recently, I started listening to David J. Schwartz's book titled The Magic of Thinking Big. He told the story of his friend who had gone into the army and, during an attack, had lost an arm. This friend returned home, and instead of moping over his predicament, he started to do great things. David asked him his motivation for doing these things. The man said, Well, it's just an arm. I'll have the other arm, and if I'm that lucky to still have it, I might as well use it. Then he said, The right attitude with one arm will beat the wrong attitude with two arms every time. There will always be a reason why something can be done. There will always be a reason why you cannot achieve a goal. If you look for it, you'll find the excuse in the world why you cannot achieve your life of success. Ask every successful person though, and they'll tell you they had excuses that could have held them back from becoming the persons they wanted to become. The only difference is that they chose not to consider those excuses. The reason is simple. When we focus so much on the goals, why something can be done, we never stand up to get those things done. But when we focus on how to get it done, no matter what happens, those things will be done. Because we'll figure out ways to get them done. I have found in my life that the moment I decided I wasn't going to make excuses for not doing what I was supposed to do, I made so much progress. It's not the easiest thing to do. But if you must make progress and achieve a life of success, you must be willing to cut excuses away from your life. Because as Jim Rohn said, if you really want to do something, you find a way. If you don't want to do it, you'll find an excuse. When I wanted to write my own books but didn't want to get to it, I complained I couldn't write them because of health issues. When I couldn't make all the money I needed, although I was dead broke, I complained because some group I belonged to was holding me back. When I didn't want to change so my relationship could become better, I complained that my partner was selfish and she was the one with all the issues. When you look in the wrong direction for the problem responsible for your success, you get stuck. David J. Schwartz told a story about when he was on the airplane and he kept hearing a ticking sound beside him. The man beside him quickly spoke up. Sorry, you're hearing that sound. It's coming from my heart. I have just had surgery on my heart and a plastic valve has been placed there. It'll take a while for it to heal so the ticking sound can reduce. However, regardless of this, I have decided I will live my best life. I will return to school and become a lawyer. The man was so happy as he spoke. David wondered at it. He had a good excuse for why he could stay back from doing anything, but he would not accept that excuse. Jim Rohn said, If you really want to do something, you find a way. If you don't want to do it, you find an excuse. Nobody can make you fail. Most people will go to their graves, angry at life or someone for making them fail. Nobody is responsible for your life. Nobody can cause you to fail until you allow it. You are where you are because that is where you chose to be. Nobody can force success or failure on you. You choose either one, and you will have the consequences of your choice. If you really want to do something, you find a way. If you don't want to do it, you find an excuse. If you want to move your life forward, it begins with coming to terms with yourself, realizing that you alone can change your life. For more than two years, I lived with a man, and at the time, my life was stagnant. Each time I kept hoping that the man would one day look at me and help me prop up my life. After waiting for two years, and he seemed to didn't even have my time, and I was terribly suffering. I told myself I had to take some steps. I took some steps and saw some results. That was when it occurred to me that nobody is responsible for your life. If you don't stand up to claim your life, you will remain where you are and may likely die there. Your life is as valuable as you can ever imagine. You can never quantify the extent of the dreams you can achieve. If you want to succeed, give up excuses. 
Give up telling yourself why it can be done and start figuring out how it can be done. Give up telling yourself you cannot do it when you have not even tried. There is no limit to what we can achieve. The only restriction we experience is the one we have set by ourselves. And as Jim Rohn said, if you really want to do something, you find a way. If you don't want to do it, you find an excuse. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.